In this video, I'll be going over how to create a Google Maps, very similar to the standard one, uh, using a little bit of Visual Force code, no test deployments required, and it's a pretty simple template that I put together um, based on some feedback from the communities. One thing to note here is that I am using a trial org. Um, the map component is not available for developer editions and that also goes for trailhead editions. So uh, just one thing, you won't be able to test this out unless you are in a full, fully paid for org as far as I understand. Next, a uh, few things of, uh, I guess, uh, recognition. Uh, the pack is where I found uh, this submission from and I've used this many different times. And then I have created a simple template in uh, my Salesforce Mentor GitHub repo, uh, which will have the code for this. So to get started, uh, one thing that we will do is go and create a Visual Force page. We will create a new one. And if you just want to copy what I have in for the template, that is fine. Paste that in, give it a name. So we'll call this account map, click out. And then the next things here are to fill in the actual information that we have here. So this has made it very easy to just enter in the information we need. And this standard controller is based on the object that we want to use. So if you're using lead fields, we would change this to leads. Since this is, we're testing this out on the account, we're changing this to account. Enter our, our different um, address variables in here. I'm actually going to copy and paste some in. We could use you know custom fields in here, but I'm using the standard ones for now just to demonstrate. And I'll come back and show you guys uh, what it looks like when we use some other uh, strange fields on here. So uh, now that I have saved this, I'll actually hit save here just so you can see that. I will go back to my page and add this component to my page. Well, another thing to note is that on the actual Visual Force page itself, we're going to need to change the width and height. So let's actually add this one under here. Change this to 300 is what it's set to by default. Save, refresh the page here, and now let's see what that looks like. So it actually should look very similar to the first one. It's a little bit zoomed in, and we can go over some of the information on there. But you we see when we click on this, it's actually showing up the address that is placed on here. Um, going over some of the information that's actually in the documentation of it. I won't go over everything, but there's a ton in here that I will get into in my developer series. And one of the things that we would look for is the zoom level to change that up. Another thing here is going back to the actual parameters and editing this to show different fields. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, one that I had preset in. I'm actually going to call the parent IDs or sorry, the parent street uh, and uh, address fields in here. Do a quick save and then do a refresh. So we see that this uh, parent account is Acme and the original billing address is uh, 150 Chestnut and the parent account is 10 main. So let's go ahead and refresh this one. Go back onto the page. And zoom out a little bit, but I'll hit this and we can see that, hey, now this is showing uh, 10 Main Street, which is different than the regular billing address here. So this was a quick overview just to show you guys a little bit about this um, code that can be written very simply to display a map. Um, there's definitely a lot more in-depth things that we can go into this and we'll, I will be going into the more in-depth aspects of this in my uh, developer series. So. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and like.